When you scroll through social media, you'll stumble upon this crazy slogan that goes, screw the rich. This is often associated with anti-capitalism and far-left ideology. It can sometimes be interpreted as a metaphor for class strife, a demand for wealth redistribution, or a direct call for violence towards the rich. The low and middle class believe that the rich are the reason they aren't getting a piece of the pie, but there's definitely more to it. However, before we dive into this fascinating list, please do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome and subscribe for more content like this. Now without any further ado, here are some of the main reasons the low and middle class hate the rich. 12. They believe the rich are corrupt. The idea of a social class hierarchy pisses many people off, especially those in the low and middle class. Most of them have developed the idea that every rich person is corrupt, but is that actually true? Let's find out. Many who were lucky enough to be born into a wealthy family have been properly groomed and prepared to fit in with people from the same social class. They've been equipped with outstanding financial management skills. These skills set them apart from others their age who have not had the same opportunities. However, the lower classes don't believe that the rich got where they are today because of their hard work and dedication. This might be due to their own laziness and reluctance to take the same risks as the rich. This doesn't mean that all rich people are saints, because there are still crooks among them who use their witty skills to earn a dollar through corrupt means. 11. The rich are hated because of their wealth. I bet we've all seen how one's wealth sometimes creates numerous problems. One such problem is that the rich are slandered and hated for simply possessing what they worked hard to attain. However, the character assassins usually have nothing to show for themselves. The reason for all this hatred is that individuals in the lower classes aren't satisfied with the wealth they currently possess. Instead of focusing on building themselves, they resort to hatred. If you didn't know, health is more valuable than wealth, which a huge percentage of the lower classes have actually been blessed with. Now, how do you convince a person that doesn't appreciate this gem that patience and consistency will get them to where they're aiming to reach? They can try to live by the principle of attraction that states that a positive mindset attracts positivity. Then they will see how things change. After all, it all boils down to mindset. Furthermore, the rich don't have time to investigate why the lower classes hate them. This is probably why we see them achieving milestones every other day, while the lower classes remain stagnant. 10. Access to Opportunities Something the rich have that the low and middle class may lack is opportunities. They simply have a golden key to life. The rich are often in better positions of education, and they have access to the best health care and housing opportunities. Even in the workplace, the manager has a much easier life compared to the janitor. Such disparities make the lower social classes furious, believing that life favors the rich more. 9. They claim the rich are stingy with their money. Several low and middle class people are dependent on their wealthy relatives. They believe that these better off relatives should be able to solve all of their financial problems whenever they may arise. When they refuse to lend that helping hand, they are labeled as stingy. Is it fair to depend so heavily on someone that you ignore their responsibilities and dreams because they have more than you? Imagine being wealthy and having more than a dozen dependents, pressuring you on top of your own nuclear family. No matter how fat that account is, it's going to get depleted when it's serving so many people. So let's just agree that this reason is a little unreasonable. 8. Assume that the rich are luckier than them. Luck is a far-fetched idea that has made the low and middle class believe that fate is against them and in favor of the rich. This theory isn't true, because everyone has been given the same opportunities as the rich. We are actually responsible for where we end up. Some are indeed put on the playing field with better tools for the job but there is still an advantage for those who started with less. All we have to do is just figure it out and pursue our dreams. We all must experience luck in life, but the question is, where will it find you when it's your turn? Luck acts as a multiplier and will add on to what is already there. Most people are too busy assuming that luck escaped them and then end up missing out on the benefits when it's their turn. 7. Claims that the rich are hoarding money on social media, everyone is comfortable showing off their pictures of lavish vacations and expensive new cars. 
This is such a thrill to watch when the economy is stable and the money flow is good. The feeling most people get turns sour when there's an economic crisis. When most people are struggling to keep up with three meals a day, and there's someone who just bought a new Ferrari to add to their car collection. It makes them believe that somehow, the rich are hoarding money, and their actions have caused the economy to become unstable. Not only that, but they also start to think that their actions are calculated to ensure that they are kept at the top of the food chain, while the rest scavenge around to make life unlivable. 6. They believe they should be taxed more. Some people believe that the amount of taxes being charged to the rich isn't enough. The fact that they can still afford to live way beyond the low and middle class level indicates to them that there's a problem. Seeing that there isn't anyone ready or willing to take the initiative to make this happen makes them feel bitter, especially when they see the amount of tax deducted from their paychecks. They feel that more of that tax burden should be placed on the rich and not them. However, that's not because they think it will ease off some of their burdens. They just strongly believe that since the rich have been lucky to have everything, they must sacrifice more than they do. 5. They have superficial problems If you've ever watched an episode of The Kardashians, you've seen some really superficial problems. One example is when Kim was out on vacation with her family and her lover played a prank on her, which caused her to lose her diamond earrings. It is easy to feel like she is lucky to be crying over a lost pair of diamond earrings while there are people with real problems like being unable to provide food for their family, living through a war or experiencing homelessness, draughts or sickness. Seeing the experience of the rich on social media or TV does more harm than good, as it increases the hatred that low and middle class people have towards the wealthy. While wealthy people do experience hardships, like infertility and relationship issues, they usually have access to the best care and advice. It is relatively easy for them to experience a positive outcome after facing a difficult circumstance, unlike the cases of people in other economic classes. 4. They believe they're arrogant. Some wealthy people are rational thinkers who engage in charity work and give back to the community. On the other hand, there are a lot of wealthy people who are arrogant and think of themselves as gods. They know they can buy their way through all situations. That's why it's not uncommon for friendships between the wealthy, low, and middle classes to come to an end as quickly as they were formed. These differences are evident from childhood. For example, if a group of teenagers gets into trouble, the wealthy one will walk out scot-free, while the others will pay heavily. The wealthy child will usually have the support of his or her parents who can work their way through the most systems with huge donations, or calls to big offices. The less affluent ones can only rely on the mercy of the justice system. With such odds, there is no way such friendships can last. 3. They believe wealth is an illness. Wealthy people who come from certain backgrounds are always put in the spotlight and judged harshly by others who were once their friends. When they start to speak proper English, they are mocked and those small changes are attributed to the wealth they've made. They are seen as traitors when they move to a better house in a good neighborhood because they once promised never to move from their previous home. Lower classes frown upon their new clothes and lavish lifestyles and believe that these wealthier classes are causing the world to lose its morals. You aren't allowed to have the courage or live differently without judgment when you're wealthy. 2. They believe they influence the government Since most wealthy people have affiliations with big politicians and other resourceful people, it isn't a wonder why others believe that they have influence over the government. Sometimes a bill that doesn't favor the poor is passed only days after a meetup with a wealthy person. Or maybe because they send in huge donations or attend political gatherings. This gives them off as the higher power behind the people elected to serve all citizens. I don't know how true this is, but it isn't fair to judge anyone on the grounds of who they know without any actual proof. 1. They believe the rich look down on them. Finally, the poor believe that the rich look down on them because they are poor. In reality, their financial problems occur because they're lazy, and the easiest option is to use the rich as scapegoats. They may have come across several rude, arrogant, wealthy people, and this may have led them to generalize the whole population. Regardless of what the majority is doing, don't lose faith in all wealthy people. Some of these wealthy individuals believe in equality and respect despite their financial status. Let's all aim to get rid of these biased thoughts and focus on bettering ourselves holistically instead. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you found value in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment your thoughts down below. With that said, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one.